Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to be offering a little reflection about anger and lethargy. Just noticing that dance between the two about how when you're feeling really lethargic, you've got no energy, potentially could that be something to do with the anger, the rage that you feel inside yourself. So, enjoy. Okay, so um, I'm sheltered here by the, the wood store. On this wood store, I've just, just made this wood store actually uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago. I've got some, uh, some wood in for my son, and um, yeah, I need somewhere to store it. So, um, just out of the wind here, and what's coming up for me today is uh, basically my work is most of my work is with men. Um, both in my coaching work, my online coaching and the retreats that I lead and some of the workshops. And what I notice is that there's a few things I notice with men is one is that we feel emasculated, a lot of us. And I notice that there's quite a lot of us who we just don't have very much energy, we feel very lethargic, can't be bothered, this sense of apathy. And what I wanted to speak on a bit today is this sense of just getting in touch with the anger. As you know, if you've watched my videos for a while, I lived in a Buddhist monastery for a, a number of years. And while I was there, the abbot used to say to me when I'd say about anger, you know, not wanting to get angry, he'd say, you know, Piers, anger is just energy. It took me a while to really understand this. but. Oftentimes I feel that we are very lethargic, we can't be bothered, we have this apathy, partly because we have this anger inside ourselves. And interestingly, during my time in the monastery, um, I was very angry for a few years and then I got chronic fatigue and I literally struggled to get out of bed, but my anger dissipated a lot. Leaving the monastery, I went to see a, a psychotherapist, a, a Jungian analyst in particular. And, you know, I was asking what he thought was up with me, you know, with my chronic fatigue and all that. And he says, you're just filled with anger. <laughs> and I just thought, oh, he's really hit the nail on the head. He's so right. And that was true. And so I started to see him. I worked with him for a few years. And... What I wanted to share today is, especially if you're a man listening to this, you feel like you don't have the energy, is that you do have the energy, it's just a case of connecting with it. And one of the ways for me is that I do. If I'm feeling angry, I don't react or I don't go and punch a punch bag. You know, sometimes I will channel that energy, but what I'll do is just feel it. And I'll walk back and forth, and this is a practice which comes from Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese Buddhist monk. And you breathe in, and you breathe out, and you walk back and forth, and you, as you breathe in, it's breathing in. This anger has arisen in me. Breathing out, I'm taking good care of this anger. And you, for a period of 10, 20 minutes, he recommends you just feel your anger. He says it's a bit like cooking potatoes you takes a little time it takes 20 minutes to cook them and for the anger to, to turn and to shift and what you do after that is that for me when I connect with my anger it's like feeling that vibrancy that aliveness that oof, yeah that power and I see that as men we feel very emasculated we've been told that anger our power is wrong and it's no, there's nothing wrong with the power, there's nothing wrong with the feeling of the anger, it's what we do with that power, it's what we do with that anger. If we feel it, we use it in benevolent ways to be of service to others, to uh, give love to the world, to, to support, then for me that's a really useful way to turn our anger, our rage into love, to turning that around. So, yeah, so, yeah, I think I'm just looking at my notes, I think that's basically it, really, uh, for what I wanted to share about anger. So if you're feeling that lethargy, you're feeling that apathy, 
Give yourself the space to feel. Breathe, feel your anger. And that know that it's okay, it's just energy. And you'll feel this vibrancy, this aliveness come back into yourselves. So please do always uh, comment below. Also, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then I'll put a link in the bottom. I have been uh, uploading some new meditations to my website at peerscross.com and you can download some of my meditations. Uh, some are 20 minutes up to an hour long, so please do go uh, and check those out. So uh, please comment below if you have any questions and yeah, many blessings, be well.